Hey guys, welcome to another Form Affinity video. In today's video, we are discussing version 1.8 Maya Config Pro. So this update is coinciding with the newer Blender 293. So uh, most of what's been done here is coding updates to bring it up to speed with the newer Blender. But we do have a couple of new features. The first of which uh, is an update to the outliner. So um, if I make a couple of copies here, get some objects going. Uh, whereas before, um, when you shift selected, it would skip uh, the object in between. Now you can shift select and it'll grab everything in between. So that was a feature request happening in the Discord channel. And so that's been implemented. The next feature is an update to the quad menu. So looking at the previous version, if I go into, let's say back, we'd have to open that up again and click on the perspective orthographic toggle to go into orthographic. Um, and so, and that would be the case with any of these. Uh, so we've updated this to immediately go into orthographic. So now, as you can see in 1.8, I can go into quad menu, click, say, back, and it immediately takes me into orthographic view. And if I want to get out of this, I can just hit back again, or any of these for that matter, and it'll take me back into perspective. So if I'm in left, for instance, immediately goes into orthographic, and then I can get out of it by hitting right or front. I'm out of it. Uh, one thing to note, one drawback to this is if you are in your orthographic and you alt left mouse to get out, you'll still be in orthographic and have to use the perspective toggle to come back into sp perspective view. So what I've found is it's easier just to, when you're done working, open this back up and just hit any of these again. Because typically when you're using these views, you want orthographic anyways. Now it just automatically goes into orthographic. So that's a really nice sped up workflow there for you guys. So that concludes uh, the new updates for version 1.8. Uh, once again, most of these were for bringing this version up to speed with the new Blender 293. If you guys have any ideas for newer features, uh, feature requests, etc., please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And we will see you guys in the next video. Take care.